Hello, my name is Corey Toombs, and today we're going to cover how to import resources to RPG Maker VX Ace. Custom resources like title screens, battle backs, faces, characters, and tile sets. So it's quite an extensive tutorial to cover all of these. So you will need RPG Maker VX Ace. I don't know if this will work for other RPG makers and you will need GIMP and we're going to make a title screen um, let's use Google and uh, let's say we're going to make a game about dragons and we're going to do an image search for dragons and, and Save it to pictures and uh, close this and open GIMP up. And where do I have a lot of pictures in here? I need to go through here and delete some of these. Um, well, I put it in pictures, those are recent pictures. There's our dragon art. Um, now we need to make this 544 by uh, 416. So we're going to go to image and scale image. 16. And it's not going to be exact. And um, we do need to change. The camera slides and center it. Okay, I want to have the little bit of the tail on the right wing there. And put the layer and layer to image size. And select all copy Says the image. So this is going to be our title screen. Uh, 544 by 416. Um, now we want uh, some words for our title screen. And we need to go to uh, flaming text to do that. Obviously, you can uh, make your own or do a lot better job than what I want to go here. And you can go through flaming text and look for, um, you know, whatever kind of uh, text you think would be cool for um, your title screen. There's a lot to choose from, and you can spend um, quite a bit of time. Um, looking at them, I'm not going to spend a lot of time doing that. And we're going to call this the, the rise of dragons. And um, we'll put that on the second line. There you go. The Rise of Dragons. And um, backgrounds, we want to make it transparent because we're going to put this into GIMP. And we'll create a logo. And so I'm going to use this for personal use. And we're going to save. And it's in pictures. We'll call this well, that's um, crappy text. Close this. Yes, exit Chrome. And we're going to open. And pictures. 
and we can really go search and delete some stuff. Then no, close, no pad down from it. Now this is way too big because our maximum width is 544. Okay, so that's the first thing you're going to need to uh, check out and uh, scale the image back. Um, Probably maybe to five try five hundred and um, copy and then you're gonna paste and see what that looks like. Oh, that's way too big. So let's um, scale image to three hundred. Make it really small. You can obviously spend more time playing around with this. And we're gonna put it up there. Now remember you're gonna have a little box here that says uh, new game blah blah blah, so you don't want to put it anywhere near there. And we need to put this into uh, titles one. So we're going to Exports and RPG Maker Project One Graphics. I think it's Titles One and Port Dragon Exports. Okay, so we've got our title screen. Let's have a look at it. So you now need to go to System. And you, oh, title screen. Oh, that's the music. I was wondering what <laughs> I was pressing the wrong one. Oh, here it is. And we want dragon. And I'm not going to have any. And no, we're not going to draw it. If you're going to make it in GIMP, you can now. Uh, you can just uh, draw it in there. And um, make sure we don't launch this in full screen. And there you go, the rise of the rise of the rise of dragons, the rise of dragons. And that's our title screen for um, this game, Project One. And that's how to do title screens and um, battle backs. It's uh, pretty much the same process. To um to do that, you can um just follow the steps I just did there to find an image on the internet that you like, but you need to make it 580 by 444 and put it into the file of uh, Battlebacks 2. So um, I'll show you some ex examples I've already done. This and, uh, so I'm just gonna show you one that I've already done since it's just the same process graphics and I said battle backs too so I, I have some here and let's look at some more these are um, graphics I pulled off the internet uh, for a game I made and I used um, Magic the Gathering art and here you can see it so uh, obviously I had to scale it like I did with the title screen and it's uh, 580 by 444 and um, when it's all finished you need to export it to um, documents and this is for Project 1 and Graphics and Battlebacks 2 and um, export Okay, now let's have a look at that. And um, enemies, slime, troops, and change battle back. You can test it out here. And, oh, you need to put you need to put something as the first one, but this the second battle back will cover up whatever you put on the first one. So that's why I said you could just. Do the full screen and 
That's our battle test that we got. There we go. Okay. So that is our battle backs.